My main thought was, I have two young children. I don't know what's going on. I have to survive this. I can't leave my children without a mother. I was in my 30s. I didn't have any signs that I had any trouble with my heart at all. I had two young children, a full-time job, exercising as and when I could, fitting it in within my daily schedule. I was carrying on with life as normal. In my mind, heart attacks is something which happened to, you know, 50, 60 plus year old people who were, you know, sort of somewhat stressed. That's what I had in my mind. So just a few days before Diwali, I was preparing food with my daughter. She was only five at the time. And I said to her, um, I'm the mommy's not feeling well. So I couldn't breathe. I was not able to talk much and I was really gasping for breath. And I asked her to call for some help. She was one of the reasons I feel I'm still here. So luckily for me, that I was taken into the hospital really quickly. They did an angioplasty on me and they put stents in my left anterior descending artery. I was whisked out and I saw my husband in the waiting area. When I saw his face, it made me realize how close I had come to death. It felt in a way life had completely changed and I was now from a normal person to someone who experienced a heart attack. My grandmother-in-law was in her 80s at the time. She told me, if I could gift the rest of my years that are left in my life to you, I would gladly do so. That helped me and that strengthened my resolve that I have to get better. So I think it's just combined family support, faith, the research that the British Heart Foundation funds. All of that combined, I couldn't have been in a better place. I remember feeling that I will be so grateful if I reached my 50th birthday and if I see my children grow up and graduate. Our son graduated three years ago. I'm really pleased that I'm around because of research that British Heart Foundation has funded. There'll be fewer and fewer of people who have a heart attack um, where it's unknown or why this happened. That's, that's my hope.